Welcome back to Blender Daily. Today I want to show you a simple technique to switch the active camera during an animation. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started I have the scene prepared with three different cameras placed in it. So first let's take a look at the cameras and in order to do so just press zero on your numpad in order to get into the view of the active camera. And currently this one is the active camera. You can see this on this black triangle that we have on top of the camera. So how can you make a camera the active one? So let's say we want to make this one camera the active one. One option to do so is just to select it and then use the shortcut control zero. So we now enter this camera view and you can also see that it is now the active one. Another option to achieve the same thing is go to the scene properties and over here we have the camera option. So just click on it and select one of the cameras or remove it and use this eyedropper to select the camera that you want to make the active one. So now this one is the active camera and whenever we press zero on the numpad we enter this camera view and it doesn't matter which camera you have selected it will always enter the active camera. Okay, so let's uh, animate the switching of the active camera. So first let's say we want to start with, with this camera for the first few frames. So let's enter this camera view, go to the first frame and go up here to marker in the timeline and choose add marker. You could also use the shortcut M to add in the marker. Then select the camera and if you have the issue that I have right now that you can't select the camera from within the camera view, just go outside of the camera, select it, then in the camera settings bring down this clip start value, let's say for example to point 0 0.01, press 0 again to get into the camera view and now we can also select it from within this view. So once you have it selected, go down here and choose marker, bind camera to markers. You can see we now have this sign down here, camera 001. Then let's forward, say 60 frames. And now we want to switch to this camera down here. So I select it, go back into the timeline, press M to bring in a new marker then marker and choose bind camera to markers. Now we have this camera down here and it will always bind the camera that you have selected. So now when we scrub through the timeline, you can see that on frame 60, it switches the active camera from this one to the other one down here, switches right here. You can see this even better if we press numpad zero to get into the camera view that it switches between those two. So let's forward another 60 frames to frame 120. Select our third camera. Again, press M to bring in the marker. Marker, bind camera to markers with our camera selected. And now it switches between all the three. And let's take a look at it from the camera view. You can see that it now switches between all of them. Let's also shorten our timeline. So I go to frame 180 and use the shortcut control end to cut the timeline on this frame. Now let's play this timeline. And you can see that it switches the active camera every 60 frames. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it interesting and you could learn something new. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.